Hello everyone and welcome to KBAX Gaming. Today we are going to focus on filming episode two of my time at Portia. And today I believe our main focuses are going to be about meeting the people of my time at Portia, or at least some of them, uh, exploring my time at Portia a little bit, and going into the abandoned ruins and gathering resources from the abandoned ruins. So with that, let's get started with our game. Day three, month one, year one. Here we go. The house is so worn. I need to fix it or I won't be getting a good night's sleep. All right. Let's start our day with fixing some of these. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna run over here. All right. Oh, okay. Looks like we don't have enough. We're going to try to gather enough wood to, to do that. And I want to place our builder license so we can get a little bit more stamina for the day. Look at that, 138. Okay. From Antoine. Hey, builder. At the end of the week, we need qualified people to inspect these products. To coordinate with this, we will not post any regular commissions during the weekend, but feel free to turn them in. Antoine. Hello, new builder. We'd like to remind you that Portia currently has two authorized ruins for you to dive in. An abandoned ruin number one below the Church of the Light and a hazardous ruin in the collapsed wasteland east of town. For your own safety, all other ruins are currently off limits. Thank you, Portia Town Hall. From Polly. Hey, new builder. I have a manly commission for you to help you get settled in. You feeling it? I'm in need of three copper blades for some of my furniture. I expect nothing but macho quality, okay? Also, if you don't have one already, you'll need a grinder to create these blades. That's all I know about builder stuff. Accept commission. Hi, builder. I just wanted to inform you that the Civil Corps of Portia can take some commissions from you when it comes to gathering materials from hazardous ruins. You can post a commission on our commission board in the Civil Corps building at the northern end of town. There are some guidelines on the board that you should read before posting a commission. That's all, Arlo. Portia Civil Corps. Okay, we read our mail. And let's see. The abandoned ruins number one is right here, which we need to go to today. And I think there might be some kind of event or something like that happening there. And then we have a quest right here to pick up. It looks like it's about a fishing rod and we have a meet and greet. And if we ever wanna post a commission, it's at the Civil Corps building right here. So there we go. Let's go ahead and pick up some of those quests. Hey there, I'm Chiwa the smallest of the Hulu brothers. There are seven of us, so uh, it'll probably take you a while to get used to it. <laughs> Hello, Chiwa. Nice to meet you. Hey, you're the new builder, right? I'm Chiwa. I live to fish, but a big one broke my fishing rod yesterday. Can you make me a new one? Sure. Oh, thank you. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Let's see. I'm going to do a little bit of exploration here. I'm going to go up and try to see if we can get that chest up there. Both of them, maybe. Oops. Okay. And drop down. Okay, we got a talisman. All right. Let's see if I can't get back up here. I think there's a way to get up there, but I can't remember what it is. Oh, there's a chest right here, too. I totally forgot about this one. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let me see. I think there's a way to get up there, but I can't remember what it is in this moment. 
think I might have to go back this way again. I'm not sure. I've done it once, um, but I've never, I've never been able to do it again. So, oh, wait, there it is. There it is. I got it. Oh. Yahoo. All right. Got a bloodstone and a grinding stone. Some other things. All right, now we can go to the mayor's office, which is the Porsche government building here. And collect this mission. Hi. Oh, right. You should get to know some of the people living in this town for your own benefit. I've made a list of the store owners within the city walls. You should go introduce yourself. All right, sounds good. Meet and greet. I'd like to show you guys this map right here, too. So... We are from Barnarock, which is in the northeast corner of the map. And Portia is, happens to be uh, southwest, a little ways from Barnarock. So we traveled by boat from Barnarock and went to Portia. And that's what, um, that's where we are for right now. So that's fun. And... We are in the Alliance of the Free Cities, as it turns out. And then that up there is about Portia Times being created. So yeah, I thought I'd show that to you guys. Because I remember it took me a long time to explore this office and actually find that map. And I thought it was really neat. So right now, our map is just of Portia. And that's it. And as you can see, there's still more of the map that we have to unlock and explore. So I'm excited to do that. Okay, oh, uh, let's go meet A&G Construction. Welcome. If you're in need of a house or workshop upgrades, this is the place to be. All you need to do is select a plan from the catalog book in our company. Perfect. Thank you, Albert. Great to meet you. Let's check out the catalog real quick. Okay. So this is where we upload our home, assembly station, work table, how we get a chicken coop, a shed, how we end up getting a stables, um, and upgrading the gate and the fence uh, as well. So, and how we change the appearance as well of something. So we will definitely be doing that as time goes on. All right, and while we're at it, um, let's meet Gust, I guess. You're the new builder. I'm Gust. I'd love to stop and chat, tea, cake and all, but I'm busy. So, good day. All right, Gust. What are you working on over here? Man, there, that looks really beautiful. I've never actually paid attention to Gust's station before, but this is really neat. He's drawing up some plans for something or maybe the, the square. Looks like that's the square. Let's see what this is. Oh, wow. There's a whole store here that I've never even paid attention to. Different kinds of flooring. Ring flooring. I can buy wood here. Stone. Wallpaper. Oh my gosh, you guys. I have played about a month and a half to two months of this game or something like that, but I have never looked at this store before. I just never paid attention to Gust's area before. Oh my god. You can bet you that I'm going to be exploring this further. This is amazing. Piano. Wooden shelves. Umbrellas. Oh, and this is where you buy the stone fences, too, for upgrading your fences. How cool is that? That is so cool. Okay, let's see what else there is. Marble fencing, marble flooring, decorate the yard floor. I didn't realize you could even decorate your yard. Oh, I am so fascinated, you guys. This is amazing. Oh, and there's like landscaping stuff you can do around your house. Ocean wallpaper. 
merry-go-round. All right, up upgrading your bed. Moving closet, okay. Television stand, oh my gosh. All right, this is definitely something that I'm going to strive to do is decorate my house because I've never even noticed this before. Okay, moving on. Oh, look, they have a Van Gogh painting. I didn't notice that either. I'm so excited right now, you guys. This is so fun. I love it. Is there anything else? Oh, he's got a book about a cat. That's kind of random. <laughs> wow. Oh, and then A and G. Okay. Oh, and then there's another globe in here of... Of the world here. Okay. And our map here. Wow. Looks like there's more... I wish I could zoom in. Wow. All right. Very cool. Okay. We're done with this now. We're going to go meet more people. <laughs> okay. Oh, here. Did we ever meet Antoine? I can't remember. Hi there. I know who you are. I'm Antoine. We'll probably see each sector. other a lot. <laughs> I really like the spring. The flowers fade in my presence. Uh, all right. Cool. <laughs> Uh, let's see. Is it that's Chihuahua? We already met him. Okay. Oh wait, we need to go in here. It looks like there's somebody to meet in here. One of the shop owners, maybe. Django. Oh, a new builder. Always nice to see young folks moving in. If you need refreshments, I'm your man. Try this. It's on me this time. All right. Thank you. Got some juice. You're that new person. You just inherited that workshop outside of town, right? Oh, sorry. Where are my manners? I'm Sonia. Restaurant waitress. Okay. Cool. Oh, check this out. These are all of the... The people that probably looks like some of them may have founded the area by the older pictures. That's really neat. And then this is a... Uh, a night of some sort. Breaking news. Apparently there was treasure found. Here, let's meet hey Emily. There. I'm Emily, your next door neighbor. It's so nice to have new people move into our town. You should drop by my ranch sometime. Will do. Nice to meet you, Emily. We met Albert already. Is there anyone back here? This is a bunch of games that we can play. We can play darts. I haven't played this at all, guys. Not not at all. No. Nah. No, I've definitely played this game before. Alright. We got 20 night badges. Which, for badges, you go over here once you get enough badges and you can exchange different badges for different um different things in here so cooking master stuff we can get recipes we can um get all of these tales of different things 500 designs old world about structural design oh that's interesting bubble wand i'm not sure why you would ever need that but okay apology bear meeting table uh looks like different plushies and things uh Oh, it looks like you can get a cat tree. That's cool. <laughs> That's fun. I like that. Okay. So cool. Some stuff to look forward to. This one I've never been good at. Shooting balloons. As you can see, I am not good at this one. At all. I just don't think I've figured out how to do it. But anyway. I haven't figured out the technique. I'm sure there's a technique there. With that, let's uh, let's go down Main Street and see if there's more people to meet over here. Ooh, let's meet Alice. Hi, I haven't seen you around. Uh, you are her, like thing is spraying everywhere now. Do you see anything you like? All my flowers are freshly picked. Okay, looks like she has a flower shop. 
And this is what she has. She has like lots of different things that you can decorate your house with and all the things make it look really pretty. And then these are for um, giving roses to someone you love and giving a gift to somebody. And I think that these are used for mourning. I don't know exactly what that means, but. And then this one is to um, give it to a friend to ask them to date you. This is to break up a relationship with somebody. Um, and then these are just some other small little things that can be uh, placed around your house and whatnot, which is pretty cool. So eventually we will get there with it. All right, let's meet. Oh, Sanwa. Ah, I heard about you. Name's Sanwa. Nice to meet you, Builder. Oh, it looks like he's the barber. Sometimes I think I should move to a larger city like Atara. But then I think of my bros and quickly banish that thought. Hmm. Interesting. Atara. Where's Hello. that? Oops. Good we boy. accidentally talked to him again, which... Right. Hi. You're Martha. probably the new builder everyone's talking about. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. I run a bakery here in town. Hello, Martha. Great to meet you. Let's see what you have in your bakery. So, mushroom crepe with fruit sauce, baked bread, and nori burrito. All right. Honestly, she hardly ever has anything in her bakery there. She only ever has three items. But I wonder if that might increase as time goes on. Hi. We don't get new people moving all the way out here too often, so nice to meet you. I'm Lucy. I'm a teacher at the Porsche School. Nice to meet you, Lucy. I don't think you can go in there. Oh, you can go in her home. I didn't know that. Wow. Okay. Okay. Uh, Atara. Okay. So there's Portia and then north of it, it there's Sandrock and then north east or northwest of it is Atara. So that's where she's from. Okay, cool. We found a map. That's awesome. Hey, let's see who else there is to meet. Okay, we gotta meet Polly, which he's the one who gave us that commission. Welcome, smallish builder. I sell furniture here in my store. So if you have any need for manly decors, you know where to find me. And since I'm so manly, I'm going to give you this to get you started. All right, here, let's check our inventory and make sure we're not getting too full. All right, cool, we're not, we're good. Okay, oops. Let's check out. And this is where you can get more furniture and uh, sometimes some uh, some other plans. Hospital bed, dream lamp, uh, other little lamps, and furniture pieces, and all the things. So, oh, there's Carol. Welcome to our little town. Hope you have a wonderful time. My store sells clothing and costumes, so if you ever need to upgrade your armor or suit for a date, come see me. Now you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you something for free as a leg up. Don't tell my husband, though. Thank you, Carol. Let's see what she has. So she has a lot of different, uh... Oh, fitness mat, coarse rug. Okay, so she has things like rugs that will decorate your house and clothing. And these are really good work clothes and things like that too that give you a lot of extra points and things. And, oh, and a diaper eventually. Yep, that ga this game does focus on that eventually. Now let's meet Mars. Nice to have you. If you need tools or weapons, you can come to my shop. It's got the best selection around these parts. I think I see a chest over there. All right, we're gonna have to go and grab that. Now, you look like a nice kid, so I'm going to give you these for free as a leg up. Don't tell my wife, though. I always found it really funny that both Mars and I think Carol, right? They both said, don't tell my husband. Don't tell my wife. <laughs> it's like they both did the same thing. It's funny. Open this chest, see what's in it. Apricot juice. Okay. Now, did we fulfill that mission for meeting people? Oh, we've got Dr. Zoo and Sophie to meet as well. 
And of course, there's lots of other characters in Portia as well to meet, but meeting the main people, the main store people is really helpful. Now let's meet Pinky. Pinky the cat. You're new, right? I'm Jack. Nice to meet you. I hope you have a good time in town. Good to meet you, Jack. I almost said Zack, but it's Jack. <laughs> oh, here, let's meet, uh, I think this is Toby? Yeah. Did you just move here? Never seen you before. Student and part-time adventurer. <laughs> I love it. Ooh, who's this? Let's see if we can catch up. May? Hello, new builder. That is who you are, right? I'm May. I work at the newspaper. <laughs> See you around. Nice to meet you, May. Okay, I think now's about the time that we focus on the abandoned ruins. And we will focus on meeting more people tomorrow. Right. Hey there. First time ruin diving? Remington, member of the Civil Corps. Yep. Alrighty, let me explain then. All the ruins in the Alliance of Free Cities are regulated by the Civil Corps. To enter the ruins, you'll need to pay a weekly maintenance fee, but we'll give you a 60% discount the first time. Awesome! Thank you! When you enter, I'll give you the jetpack and scanner. Very handy ancient relics. Mine in for resources becomes a lot easier when you have these equipped. When you come out, we'll need them back since they're very rare. All right, sounds good. Thank you, Remington. This one beside me is an abandoned ruin. No monsters or robots in there, just resources and relics like power stones. Anything you find in the ruins are yours to keep, unless they're ancient weapons. Then we're supposed to hand them over to the church for destruction. Sounds good. Okay, I'm done. Have fun and be safe in there. All right, will do. Thanks again, Remington. Great to meet you. All right, and here is a mining tutorial for those who have not played this game before, but since I've played it, I am able to just go ahead and get started. Whee! Right, we're gonna, oh. We're gonna go to the relic scanner. Oh, and then I'm gonna equip my pickaxe. And here we go. In this game, uh, as far as ruin diving goes, and for mining materials, is a lot like Minecraft, as far as that goes. Okay. Here we go. Found some copper, which is what we need. But I want to get to this uh, this dot as well. All of these dots get us to different quest items as well, and get us to different materials that we will need for commissions later on. But I also want to make sure I'm mining the actual resources I need too for the current commissions that we have. And as you can see, this uh, kind of like I don't know. Well. Copper looking stone is the stuff that we need, which is copper. And then this is dirt, I believe. Yeah, that's, oh, sand and soil. Yeah, so sand and soil. And then if we need a lot of stone, we just, this more like silvery kind of gray thing here. Right now we need copper. I'm gonna gather as much of it as I can. Uh, looks like I'm getting kind of full on my inventory though, so I have to be careful how much I grab. I think we're gonna be okay though, because we can still gather quite a lot of copper before, before we can't anymore. Make sure that we don't gather too many. And we leveled up. Okay, so right now, let's see, um, I can either do experience increased by 5% um, or I can start thinking about 
gathering when it comes to trees and foliage. Or I can start thinking about relationships and building up relationship points quicker. But I think right now, I, I think maybe gathering is the best, is still the best place to apply skill points. Oh, and then we need to... Oh, hang on. Oops. Did I already apply it? Yeah, okay. Well, I guess I applied it to uh, fighting on accident and experience. So we're going to need that too. So that works. And some of this I'm going to skip through. Okay, we ran out of stamina for today. So this is something really cool. I do not have to travel all the way back up there. I go to the map and I can press E to move directly to the entrance. So no matter how far or how deep I've gotten, I can do a really quick movement to go to the entrance. It's highly convenient. I love it. it. Takes no time at all. Okay. I believe, if I remember right, there's a chest back here. Right. Cool. Oh, I don't have enough in my inventory. Okay. Uh, do I have anything I don't really care about? Not really. Okay. I'm going to go put some stuff into a storage box and then I'm going to come back for that because that'll stay there. And it stays there for quite a long time too, which is nice. So you have plenty of time to go back and get it. I think sometimes it even stays until the next day, which is really cool. Uh, we don't have enough for a wooden storage. Okay, here we go. Just had to... Oh, here's the wooden storage. Okay. Doesn't give you much storage space, but it gives you enough. And you can right-click to quickly put items over into your storage, which is also really cool because you don't really need to worry about it very much after. Uh, let's see. Oh yeah, I'm gonna keep a, keep a hold of those. Um, okay, I think we're okay for right now. Okay, let's go back and get that, that one piece of inventory and I can skip through it too. All right, we got it. Dried apple slices. Okay, let's head back to the house. and start getting some, I think we need some copper bars going first, right? Um, I'm gonna focus on the grinder first. Oh, it looks like I need one more grinding stone too. I didn't even notice that. So, uh, wait, do I need copper bars for that? Yeah, I need three copper bars and two grinding stones, two old parts. So we already have the old parts, which is nice, which came from the glowing dots that, um, that we had in the abandoned ruins. And then um, I'm just going to start crafting copper bars. I'm going to craft a bunch of them. Oh, wait. Okay, hang on. We got to go cut down some trees. Hang on. We need wood. We need wood for our furnace. Oh, we don't have stamina. Hang on. Let me make sure. I think these have stamina in them. Ooh, they do. Okay, cool. Should be enough to get what we need. Let's get as much as we can, because wood is always something that we're going to need. And what's nice about this game, and what's different than Minecraft as well, 
is that you can pretty much chop down as many trees as you want because within about a week or two of the game, or maybe even a month in the game, I don't know exactly how many, how much time passes, but very little time at all, the trees regenerate themselves, which is really cool. It's not very realistic, but it's really convenient for this game. Okay, and we're out of stamina again, but we have plenty of wood and we can start the furnace going. Oh, refuel and copper bars. We're gonna try to do 10 of them at a time. And we have another 20, yes we do. Okay, gonna get plenty of them started. Okay, let's craft a grinding stone. One more of them. Okay. And I'm going to double check that I have two old parts. Because if we don't, then we're going to need to do another ruined die. Okay, we do have two two of these, which is awesome. Um, and we have two of these now. I think I'm going to go ahead and place those. And then tomorrow, the um, grinder will be done because the copper bars will be done by tomorrow. Because these take about one day to do, but three of them should be complete by tomorrow. And we need to go to bed because it is two o'clock in the morning. And in this game, at three o'clock in the morning, you do pass out. So let's go. Okay. All right, and with that, I believe that is the end of this episode. We met some people, we explored a little bit, and we went into the abandoned ruins. We repaired some of our house, and look at our stamina down there. We are down at 211 out of 235 now. So we've been able to increase it because we get better sleep, and because we have our builder license up there too. So. Thank you so much for watching, and I can't wait to share another episode of my time at Porsche with you. Um, probably next time we will be focusing on doing a little bit more gathering, um, getting that grinder built, the civil cutter built, and then we'll start, uh, and then we'll start the bridge process. So, with that, I can't wait to see you in the next episode. Bye.